Hi friends, today we will discuss about KX NS500 basic configuration, system in detail, wiring and programming. This is the front panel interface by default. Here we can see two LED indicators. One is system status and other is PBX mode. Next to that there is a switching control from normal to system initialization. By default system initialize state need to change into normal mode and do the program part. Here we can do either PT programming or PC programming. There are LAN and USB interfaces for PC programming. Now we will look into different slots in the device. Slot number 1 which is using for 6 analog CO line connection. Here there are total 3 RJ45 ports. In each port we can connect 2 analog lines. Port number 1 for CO1 and 2. Port number 2 for CO3 and 4. Port number 3 for CO5 and 6. Slot number 4. This is the optional slot for 6 analog CO lines or digital expansion cards. Here we can use either analog trunk card or digital. KX NS5180 can be installed which supports 6 analog trunk lines or KX NS5200CE that is PRI30 slash E1 which support 30 channel PRI lens. PRI means primary rate interface port. Slot number 5. This is an optional slot where we can install door phone cards. KX NS5162 can be installed in this slot which support two door phones, two door openers and two external sensors. Slot number 2, which is a default slot for two digital extensions. Here we can see one RJ45 port which we can connect for two digital extensions and from that extension we can add two more digital lines through DXDP that is digital extra device port. Slot number 3, which is a default slot for 16 analog extension card. It is a combination of 5 RJ45 ports. Port 1 and 2 which support 2 extensions each. And rest of the 3 ports which support 4 extensions each. Slot number 6 which is an optional slot for additional digital or analog extensions card. Here we can install any of these 4 extension cards. KX NS5171, KX NS5172, KX NS5173, or KX NS5174. Slot number 7, which is an optional slot for analog proprietary telephone cards, that is KX NS5170. Here, you can see slot for expansion card which is using for expanding the whole system with additional 3 expansion unit of NS520. This is how the expansion unit connected with NS500 by using CAT5 or CAT6 patch codes. Here in this schematic we can see that there are 3 RJ45 port in main expansion card and from that each patch codes connected to three different NS520 expansion units. Now we can check system capacity. The KX NS500 supports the following number of trunks. Basic system which can support a maximum number of 100 trunk numbers. Legacy 36 that is PRA 30 plus 6 analog trunk line and IP64. Here, if you are using one analog trunk line, 
then you can add two number of analog trunk card in one KX NS500. KX NS500 with one expansion unit, total number of trunk line will be 130. 160 in addition of two expansion unit and 190 in addition of three expansion unit. So the maximum number of trunk lines which supported by NS500 plus 3 expansion unit is 190. Let us see maximum number of terminal equipment which is supported by NS500. Basic NS500 system which support a total number of 162 extensions including 128 IP extensions and it will be 168 if we are using digital XDP. With one NS520 expansion unit, total extensions will be 194 and 208 if we are using digital XDP. In addition with two KX NS520, the total number of extensions reach 226 and 248 by using digital XDP. In addition with three number of KX NS520, the maximum number of terminal equipments will be 258 and 288 by using digital XDP. Here in IP we can use either IP proprietary or SIP 